So an interesting opportunity fell into our laps today. And uh, so it's midnight right now. And what we're doing is we're driving this big uh, Ford Transit to Arizona, carrying some very interesting precious cargo. Um, do you want to tell them what's in, in the boxes? Yeah, so they are security drones. Security drones? That detect dangerous drones and shoot them down? Just kidding, I don't know if that's I guess, true. yeah, I want to learn more about the drones, but somehow they are, yeah, they, they're called hunter drones is what I've heard them called. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, we, uh, this is just kind of a one-time gig that we got offered to take them down to Arizona. Um, this company just needed them overnighted and so that's what we're doing is all night we're driving these drones to Arizona and it's pretty nice they're paying us 500 bucks to do it and, and we are poor college students so we need to seize that opportunity mm -hmm. uh, but also they're paying for our expenses like our food and, and lodging so we're pretty excited about that thought we'd make a trip out of it but uh, the next stop is Vegas and I understand Caitlin not wanting to drive through Vegas it can be kind of scary so especially in this big old van like yeah I don't want to try it. So I've got me some uh, Mountain Dew and some uh, Red Bull to keep me alive. And uh, oh, more seeds most importantly. Seeds, that's the way to go if you need something to keep you awake. It works really well for me and I'm pretty drowsy normally. So our adventure begins now. Arizona time, 7.30 our time. Um, I, I drove most of the way, but Caitlin was wonderful enough to drive the last couple hours, so I did get some sleep. And we delivered the goods. The mm -hmm. drones are in the hands of the military. We just have a big old empty van. But here's the problem. We uh, were trying to see if hotels would let us just get a room until checkout time, so like barely use the room. Um, Which you think would I mean, be reasonable. Yeah, I mean, obviously we'll pay the whole price, but uh, yeah, we just want it until checkout so we can get some more hours of sleep in a bed. Every Maybe hotel shower. we've called, <laughs> yeah, and shower. Every hotel we've called is booked completely. So I don't know if Yuma is some great destination for <laughs> spring break or if it's all these hotels' policies to be like, no, like, sucks That's for you. That's what I think. But they, they all just said, oh, sorry, we don't have any vacancies, so. We were at one hotel, and there's like, 10 cars in the parking lot, and she's like, we sold out last night. I'm like, eh, I don't think so. You're like four stories high, and, uh, yeah, yeah there's 10 cars. So, What's we're, the new plans, eh? We're gonna go, <laughs> yeah, we're parked at Chick-fil-A, which mm -hmm. just, the lights just barely flickered on. We're gonna get some breakfast, then we're gonna go to Walmart, purchase an air mattress, set it up back here hopefully it's got like a battery powered vacuum though because we don't have an outlet so that's yeah. gonna be the only trick but we brought two pillows and a blanket yeah so rough in it but uh yep it's been good the the, the dry the 10 hour drive was honestly not that long yeah it went by pretty or, fast I mean, it was 10 hours it was it was 10 hours long it just didn't feel that it went long. by pretty fast so yeah Walmart has a air mattress that meets our specifications. Otherwise, we're going to be sleeping on the hard, dirty floor of this Hertz rental van. <laughs> I think we are just straight up out of luck. They all seem to just plug into a wall, which I guess makes sense. But then 
What do we do? Only having a van. You guys, look. The camping section came through for us. Look at that. That belongs in a vehicle, in case you are wondering. So we'll grab this, and then we found a cheapo queen-size air mattress right there. And that has the same, this, like, this will connect into it, you think? Oh. This is, is in text. Intact? That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, we'll make sure these are compatible. There it is, home sweet home. Wow, luxury. So we brushed our teeth using water bottles <laughs> and Zach to take out his contacts, <laughs> cleansed his hands with one of my face wipes and then rinsed them off with water. Anyways. We're starting to get a feel of what it's like to live out of your car. Zach's always asking or trying to convince me that we should live out of our car or a camper, and so this will give him a good I think good taste fun for of what a while. it's like. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, hopefully we get some sleep. Oh boy, <laughs> we uh just got back. Oh, so we woke up. <laughs> we took a two-hour power, a two-hour power <laughs> nap. Interrupted and multiple times. I got so many phone calls. So anyway, but we're I, I feel pretty good. We're gonna go to Phoenix. We're gonna go a different route. Um, and uh, I think for lunch we'll get backyard taco, which is just <sighs> so good. And then uh, we're gonna spend most of the day in Sedona. Is the plan. So that is gonna be really really fun. And. Uh, We'll get a good night's rest at a hotel. I'll tell you what, though. I've never slept better on an air mattress in my yeah, life. Yeah, no, that was pretty comfy. Wow. Pretty yeah. nice. It's amazing how easy it is to sleep when you haven't slept in a long time. So yeah. try it. It's great. <laughs> Where are we driving to, Zach? Phoenix. Really? Yeah. Wow. wow. This random song called Phoenix came on, and it's crazy. <laughs> Insane. Okay, we made a quick pit stop in Gilbert, Arizona. It is 78 degrees and sunny and wonderful. Got some backyard taco. So yummy. Yeah, it's nice to be back here. This is where I served my mission for two years. So what a wonderful place. It's kind of like an oasis in the middle of the desert. We noticed how ugly Arizona can be. I mean, it's beautiful in its own way. If you like the desert, that's great. Um, I really like the Gilbert area. I would, I'd be happy to live here. Um, if I can adjust to the heat again, but it's a, it's a nice, beautiful, newer city. So a lot of great people here as well. Yep. So we went to a place called Della Pian? We're not sure. Something like that. In Sedona. Yeah. Yes. In Uptown? Almost Uptown? Almost Uptown, yeah. And we got some delicious yucca fries, or they're more like yucca nuggies, and sweet potato fries. Those are some empanadas. And I got a gaucho burger, which is like a Brazilian burger that has a... Uh, it's good. It's like the bun is like garlic bread, and... That that's like uh, some sausage on it. I don't even know I what's on this thing, really. Cheese. Yeah, provolone. It's good though. It tastes tasty. yummy. So we're happy campers. Mm -hmm. Good morning. It's Friday morning, and we're headed back to Provo. And uh, yeah, I don't. We still. Have
gotten caught up on our sleep, but we did get to sleep in a bed for real at a hotel last night, which was great. So we got some Maverick hot chocolate, and we are embarking just at sunrise to make it back to return this here van. She's been good to us, but uh, it'll be nice to drive a normal size vehicle again. This puppy is hard to park. But, uh, okay, well, that's it, that's it. Cool.